seen, I think like probably a couple of you guys, I've seen most of Kevin's movies. I think the only one I didn't see was Red State. I, I saw it. that even. I've seen right like all of them. Um, it's like two and, or three. Um, you know, I'll tell you that. I've the, even seen all the, the Jason first, and Bob the shit. first like 20 or 30 minutes, I was thinking to myself, oh, this is kind of an interesting departure. And other than the fact that the, the character behind me is sort of an insufferable asshole, um, when the when the, the the antagonist shows up, I was thinking, well, this is sort of disciplined for, for as Kev, as far as Kevin Smith movies go. I mean, like <laughs> like, like you know, his movies are usually like little running train wrecks because you know it's all about like how clever he thinks he can make the dialogue between the parade of weirdos that he populates his movies with. Um, but then well, you know like we all we all know I didn't even mind it when it turns into. And I can bring this up again, the 1973 horror classic Sis, <laughs> S, 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 where, S, S, where S, S. Strother Martin turns Dirk Benedict into a boa constrictor, because that's basically. <laughs> pretty, I, I, I love that um, film forever. I didn't yes, even mind when it when it was like, okay, so now this movie just went from, you know, it, it, it kind of got weird and disturbing, but the fucking, for me, it's the Johnny Depp shit. Oh, it's. Oh god! It is so oh cosmically terrible. It's so insufferable. It is. It His is fucking accent. Epically is... fucking like like Kevin's like sure be in my movie man and and no. then Johnny Depp because Tim Burton was busy that month and so we had you know like <laughs> yeah. like I need somewhere to go and like I need to play a, a character who's weird and, somewhere if I can't do it. I need it to go and like wear a weird no hat mustache and do a funny accent. And, and I'm going to talk. No, I, I promise to be quiet puppies, about this, uh, but I'm I'm going to agree with Chris in that you know it, it, Johnny Depp and this was 2013 when he was really like coming off the pirate movies and he was really really yes. big. He was he the took, biggest. He, in the universe. he was like this. He was like this weird, like space monster. He took a corner of the movie and nibbled on it, and eventually inhaled the entire movie and yeah. the actors and the backgrounds and the cameras. That guy, he just completely sunk the film as this soon as he stuff, showed up. This, well, this I mean, I don't, uh, I don't think he single-handedly sunk the film. Oh, I did. No, I actually, weirdly <laughs> enough, I, I actually that's my theory. He didn't help. This stuff, he, this stuff was sort of working for me, although you know, at the end of the day, it's the same problem. I, you know, it's it's the, it's the same thing with who's seen who's seen sis oh man, like three three or four times the creature right. features man it was a it was a popular right. one it's like what's the what's the motivation of that of southern martin that movie he's just a nutcase that wants to turn a guy into a snake right the guy's just a nutcase that wants to turn a guy into a fucking walrus right fine make that movie right but the other Apparently thing about was the, the, one in of the, 15 what... days and cool man make a weird little grindhouse splattery movie don't pretend that it's anything else though and that's but why what, I think this has issues. Is that one of the other glaring, you know, horrible things about this movie is the effects are so bad, like uniformly terrible. Well, so it doesn't sell the guy anything. They wanted, he wanted to get the guy that uh, um, Nicotero, and Nicotero was apparently busy, and so they Nicotero punted it to some other guy. Mm -hmm. But so even the, up, when the when the well the, when the, the first Scott Scott him. had it up a minute ago though, even in the video when the kid cut his leg off. It was so bad CG that I thought I didn't know that we were supposed to take that seriously. I thought that kid had done that like digitally, and it was as a goof. As a goof, yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was, uh, was my first moment of like, huh? Yeah, we're supposed to, we're supposed to accept that that actually happened, right? The so I thought the, uni the universe of this film, right? I thought the kid with the sword did that himself, gotcha. as like a computer. Geeky hey, here's guy. my reel. I used to have yeah, like I, you know. But then they were talking about it like, no, this kid really cut his leg off. And I'm like, you mean that? Because <laughs> right. yeah. it's just so fucking terrible. Uh -huh. And then the walrus shit was terrible as well. I don't know. It was. Just, and then when the uh, spoiler alert. Dad, don't he, worry about the spoiler alert. When, when he kills Homeboy no at the end, uh -huh. when he kills Homeboy at the end with his tusks. I mean, even that was just the worst effects, the worst everything. And it was just. This movie, yeah, I got I got human centipede vibes too, which was anyway. I would bit. like I would like I would like a moment. Go ahead, <laughs> take it away. <clears throat> Tusk, Kevin Smith's pointless house of walrus horrors by <laughs> Eric Lundergaard. In his last movie, Red State, writer director Kevin Smith imagined three teenagers in a small town searching for sex. Instead, they're drugged and taken prisoner by a crazy preacher, Michael Parks, and unspeakable things happen to them. In his new movie, Tusk, Smith imagines a sensationalistic podcaster, Wallace, 
Justin Long, support, sporting a Geraldo mustache, searching for a story in the backwoods of Manitoba. Instead, he's drugged and taken prisoner by a crazy storyteller, parks again, and unspeakable things happen to him. Failure of imagination? Yes and no, because the things that happen to Wallace are much, much worse. Tusk is one of Smith's own, based on one of Smith's own podcasts, is the most disgusting and pointless movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Emphasis on pointless. I spent half the movie sick to my stomach. Obviously, if Smith weren't talented, I wouldn't feel this way. More's the pity. He has the talent and he uses it for this. In Manitoba, Wallace plans on interviewing mm, Kill Bill that's Kid, debatable. a hapless viral video sensation who lops off his leg with a samurai sword, except the kid dies before the interview. Wallace's backup is Howard Howe, Parks, whose mansion has all the trappings of a 1950s horror movie, brought Iron Gate, Tchotchkes, and Howe himself in a wheelchair. When Wallace wakes up, he's in a wheelchair, his left leg amputated below the knee. That's just the beginning of the mutilations and humiliations. If you know the horror fu film Human Centipede and realize how is infatuated with walruses, you'll understand where this is going. Wallace's girlfriend, Allie, Genesis Rodriguez, and his podcast partner, Teddy, Haley Joel Osment, search for him with a comic relief Quebec detective, Guy Lapont, Johnny Depp, who is neither comic nor relief. The only relief is the, the end of the movie, and even then, the bad taste lingers. That's too nice. That yeah. review is too nice to this movie. <laughs> it's too nice. The only thing, the only thing that's redeeming about anything, anything at all in this movie is Genesis Rodriguez's performance. Yeah, she's she's really good. good. Haley Joel Osment's okay. She's really good, and the rest of this movie is fucking. I didn't think Michael garbage Parks was bad. Oh, I thought he was. Lines, he was. I mean, I thought uh, the uh, lines he had to say were so terrible. Bad guy playing a B movie bad guy. Justin that Long, whole, Justin that whole Long scene, is never bad, but he's just a jerk. His character's a dick. He's yeah. an asshole through the whole thing, and he's a pointless asshole for most of it. But yeah. he's a good actor. I think. And then, and then the two of them, Parks and Depp, on the on in that. How long oh, was that, that scene? That Twenty was, fucking that minutes. Was, that was so terrible it ruptured the fabric of time and space. It I'm was yeah. interminable. Uh -huh. Like I literally, I at various points during that scene, I was like standing up and walking back and forth in the bedroom because yeah. I was like, I need this to be over. Like yeah. this is fucking torture. I told you he if killed you the film. The, the man if killed you read the, film. the IMDb notes, apparently Parks was thrilled to death to be able to do some goofy accent with Depp, who was also doing, was doing another a goofy, goofy accent. accent. Yeah. And of course, you know, Smith is just like, I'm just going to turn the camera on, let him go. Yeah, it turns into it turns into the worst improv class you've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And also, uh, add to that, while he's the walrus, Long's yelling was so like off putting. It was either so, blood curdling or embarrassing. Yeah, it was like I'm going was, with embarrassing. It was kind of like it was kind of like that scene in Dumb and Dumber where he goes, Do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he does, like it's like that over and over again. Well, what was the appeal for Justin Long? Okay. Oh, all right. It's Kevin Smith. Yeah, I got this movie idea. Yeah, yeah, buddies, I, I I guess. Guess. yeah he owes he owes Kevin Smith something. You're gonna yeah. be regular guy for half the movie, and the other half hey, of it's a coming you with foam latex, and I'm just gonna want you to scream every line. Yeah. It's a lead back after he kind of he kind of eased off after Live Free or Die Hard, so he probably just took it. Yeah, yeah. Although I don't and know. I think that a lot of these people are friends. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love the Canadian stuff in this film, though. Throughout, oh, it's that the was, worst. What are you talking oh, about? Come on, it's the funniest. It's the worst. It's it should have been funny. Yeah, there's the there's one funny much. line. I'll tell. I'll get, there's one funny line in the whole movie, and that's okay. when he says, "I thought Canadians were nice," and the guy goes, "No, we're optimistic." Yeah. <laughs> like that's the that's the one funny line in the good. whole movie. But Kevin always thinks, yeah, Kevin's like a, I don't know, he's like he's like a retarded Aaron Sorkin or something, or like too a, clever like by a, half, like a, like a, like a toilet, Aaron. like a like a toilet version of Aaron Sorkin, uh -huh. like a dick and fart joke Aaron Sorkin, and he that's thinks he's good, yes, that he think he thinks he's like funnier than he is because even that 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 scene with the with the with the uh, guy at the airline was way too long. Oh my god, it goes on forever. Like what yeah. the fuck are you doing? And he's and he thinks it's hilarious and funny and quippy, but well, it's, it's going back so, to his sort of of, let, of letting actors improv in his movies, like in Clerks or Chasing. This, yeah. is, a, this is a forty-six minute. Riff. This is a forty-six minute Outer Limits episode that they crammed half of Clerks five into. Like it's. <laughs> yeah. Well, John's yeah, that, been terribly, terribly it's like quiet. Ninety minutes, but it feels like two hours. Oh my god. John, you've been terribly, terribly quiet. I said a few things, and I don't know what else to add because everybody's pretty much got it. Maybe I'll just say. Fucking stoners, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
don't know. There was definitely a um, a, a contest cruel thing about this, where it's it, you know it's a story of cruelty, where someone who's yeah. bad gets visited upon at the end. And I thought that the very ending of the film, when they go visit Justin oh, Long, which oh makes gosh. no sense. No, no. It doesn't make any sense. Except he's not a walrus. He's a mutilated man. They should give him like physical oh. therapy and and, and oh, correct yeah. surgery. You know, you know it's, not it's put him in an animal shelter. It's dumb. Yeah. But Fuck what does it? Is. What does it say about the morality of the two characters visiting him? They're not it's, better, it, and it gets so They're no dramatic. better than this guy is. They're oh, like, oh, 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 look at our former friend. This so guy's they, like, they just chopped him off and said, "We found this uh, bleeding walrus on the side of the road." Oh, <laughs> pretty much, and it's like they don't, you know, this pair. We realize his friends don't give a fuck about him. Ah! Oh, one of my, <laughs> and the thing is, like, oh, it's, it's you're right. Well, that's really awful. He's an yeah, asshole. right. Well, exactly. Was an Jim, yeah. Jim's right. He was an asshole. He okay, was. so are we supposed to draw a moral from this ending that he just characters him? He no. deserved no. this. The moral, the moral no of the story one deserves is that this. No, but that's what the, the but that's the morality of the movie. The movie's morality is that he does deserve it. Yeah. Like that's the, the morality that's of the movie is that the, the, um, the three main characters are all awful people in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But when she says, like, I almost laughed when she's like, I love you at the end. And she's like crying. And he's like, ah, ah. I thought that was good. I, I thought like, she's just put the knife in at I, that point. I, I was fucking, <laughs> it was so melodramatic. It was like, I, oh, God. I mean, even, <laughs> even, here's the thing. even Brundlefly at the end of the Cronenberg fly grabs the shotgun and puts it to his head. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, like I said, I've not seen this film before. I actually recommended it because I was kind of want to fill well, out my whole Kevin. Yeah, you should party. stop doing that. I'm well, going to stop doing but it. Hold like, on. Like, 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 but, let's go but, down. Like, you know, like, what are good? What are the genuinely good Kevin Smith movies? Clerks. Oh, Clerks. 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 Chasing Amy. What was the one with the angels? Um, maybe Chris chasing Clark, Amy. Dogma, I, I maybe like Dogma because I'm very good. Dogma, Dogma is Dogma. good. Uh -huh. Clerks and Dogma. That's it. Uh -huh. Chasing okay, Amy. Chasing Amy is three quarters of a good movie. Chasing yeah. Amy. Is I Amy agree. Is shrill, That's right. Three. It's shrill and awful. The original uh, Clerks. If you're if you're if you're in the mood if you're in the mood, mall rats is entertaining. But it's I know never, That's what I've never seen. Actually. Jay, and Silent, Jay and Silent Bob is fun if you if you understand that it's going to be incredibly stupid mm -hmm. and you're only in it for the dumb inside oh no inside that's fun it's, it's, that. a, it's a classic dumb comedy it's like when you had will ferrell as oh my god what's the name of his character I, um i i saw oh, red state by the way will and it's and fucking terrible i i well, actually <laughs> just Justin Long, Justin Long, at some point during this movie, should do the part in Jay and Silent Bob where it's like you owe your friend a favor, and he says you have to be in your movie, and he tur they turn and look at the camera. Yeah, like that's yeah. like he a hundred percent should do that in this Absolutely. movie because that's what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Chris, yeah. Chris, this, uh, or excuse me, Scott, when you said the name of Will Ferrell's character in Jay and Silent Bob just now, uh huh, that's when I realized I actually had seen that movie because. <laughs> Otherwise, I was like, no. It didn't bubbles stop. on the surface with the mention of that yeah. one name. Huh? Yeah. Marshall, Will, and Holly. Yes. Because oh. <laughs> it's, it's such a bad pun. Uh -huh. You know? Well, you know, it's also, it's a geek pun. We're like, we, we know. Right. It. It's, a, yeah. it's a dork reference, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Land of the Lost. Yeah. But, um, I know. Hey, everybody, it's, it's Mark Hamill. Applause. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> the thing is, like I said. Who this punches is, your nuts. Yeah, I'm not the sure if this is supposed with I don't know if this film. Here, here's a question, and this is kind of like for the. Do you think this film was supposed to be more than some of its parts? Do you think it was supposed to be profound or just no. make a message? Or do you think, it's, know, a or do you think it was just a random Blumhouse horror film? Yeah, right, I it's thought, not I think, scary either. It's well, just, that's, I, I, I think he was hoping it was kind of. Scary. I think people would find it scary. Not scary cis wasn't scary. They're gross. Yeah, but we're all no. big grown-up guys. Don't think anything's scary anymore. That's no, not that's true. not. We we, we <laughs> watch we watch terrifying movies on this I can channel. Give you five that's true. terrifying movies that will turn you into a twelve-year-old girl by the end of them. Uh, that's yeah. okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you there that. There have been films this year that we have picked that I had to look away from the screen. Okay. Yeah. So this not was, are you saying, John, I, that this was I, not one of them? No, not because of what I was seeing, but what I was afraid I was about to see. Which oh, is okay. there's the entire there's, back half. The entire back half of Anthropoid. <laughs> that was harrowing that wasn't terrifying no i think listen, yeah no that, that that that's not one actually kevin mm -hmm. smith wanting to make a little grindhouse movie i have no problem with the problem is is he doesn't know how yeah well, the first thing is you well, don't get a bunch of famous do people to be in it 
<laughs> he doesn't know how to do much. You no. don't get famous people to be in it. The he same really way doesn't. you made clerks with with people from a fucking local acting class. That's how you yeah. make that's how you make a shitty low budget horror movie. Like True. Right. that's that's, right. that's it's that, one of the things that makes a movie like Blair Witch scary is that this it seem like real people that this or, is happening. Right. Or, par- yeah. or, or paranormal activity. Like well, that, right. one that, came out, that one that one that just came out. That, that's yeah, horror if, film. If Brad Pitt was in. There was nobody Brad, in that. If Brad movie. Pitt was in Blair Witch. You'd be like, fuck this. That's yeah. why the second Blair Witch movie <laughs> sucks. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Also, one of these two is um, his is uh, what is, uh, is his daughter, his daughter, one of his yeah. Depp's daughter, daughter one of his Depp's daughter, uh, Depp's daughter, uh, and, and, and yeah. Uh, yeah, Kevin Smith's daughter, yeah, yeah Harley really Quinn good. Smith, Harley yes. Quinn Smith, yes, yeah. that's exactly and right. Just, are, I, I'm, Jim, is this the part where you tell us we're all wrong and you loved it? Uh, yeah, I wish. <laughs> 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 Write it down, Scott. Eight seventeen. Got it. <laughs> this this has got to be even even by the standards of uh, Kevin Smith auteur. <laughs> this, it's a it's a low know, point. It's like it was like watching. It was like trying to flush a toilet that didn't work anymore. After bad diarrhea. You can you can. You can see you can see the water where, where, where the water where the water keeps coming back up instead. <laughs> I can't I can't do it one more time. And at, and at a certain point, at a certain point, that first rivulet goes over the side, and that's <laughs> it. Now you have to get the floor. Well, clean. <laughs> it's like you don't want to get the plunger. You're running to get the plunger. You're just kind of hoping it's going to work. <laughs> as as film criticism, that is stellar. I think yeah. you go into Hall of Fame really? for that one, dude. I, that was I great. I think I've seen most of his flicks, or I've seen too many of them. One or the other. Yeah. And uh yeah, he's just a talentless hack. I mean <laughs> Well in his defense, he he will admit Spielberg. Right, he'll happily admit he's a talentless hack. Uh-huh. Yes, that's true. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. he's, he's just kind of like a cheap Tarantino. He has his own genre, he has his own well, movie, yeah. You know? Tarantino is sort of a talentless hack. No, he's Tarantino he for stoners. Well. Yeah. And he's which, a is stoner. Some, which is saying he's something, a actually. Who believes in the whole stoner ethos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, yeah. I guess for most people, when the, when the drugs were off, you realize it wasn't funny. But it's not for Kevin. Yeah. Like he yeah, he was to listen to that. He listened back to that podcast. Or he's always stoned. Maybe that's the yeah. answer. All right. Wow. Okay. This is the thing. Uh, I mean, I if, remember, if you're that rich, I remember he got kicked off a flight because he was too fat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember yeah. that. Yeah, well, you know, he, he was the, supposed to like buy two tickets. Was basically yeah. yeah well, he yeah. got the bariatrics. He looks great now. He has bariatrics. Had a heart attack and lost yeah. a lot of weight. He had a heart attack and lost a bunch of weight. But he yeah. still wears clothes that were the same size as when he was fat. Well, he does a lot of hockey jerseys. Yeah, yeah. Here's so the thing. His, his jackets so Scott, are like you three, four sizes movie? too oh, big. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. I will just say, amongst friends, this yeah. this is still not the worst movie I've ever watched on the show. I still think. It's probably the Jack Lemon thing that's John picked, only because <laughs> Thanks, that Greg. should have been good. No one in their right mind ex- would have expected this to be any good. Right. The bar is very, very low. Wait, here. which which film that John picked? The, oh, the um, Jack Lemon. That's thing. life! Exclamation that's point. That's life with Jack Lemon. Yeah. That's life. That 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 is a that is a colossal. What, what that is that, a much. Uh, Blake big, Edwards. Is that worse than Knight Rider? That's a Blake Edwards one, yeah. Wait, is what? Well, it's worse because of expectations. Well, yeah, Knight Riders, like, Knight Riders, yeah, and I, and Knight Riders I, is a genuinely a enjoyable schlock. I have a, I have a yeah. soft spot in my heart for Knight Riders. It was, yeah, me yeah. too. It's, it's, well, it's Knight Riders trying to do something. It's trying to do something still, unique, that film. I think it's I agree. one of the worst. Yeah. I, think, I, think the, I, think, I think the Dancing Gargoyle HBO movie is worse. Yeah. It might be. Maybe. It, I, I, it, actually, no, sure. I think that's better than this. That's better than this. Mm-hmm. It, it might be worse by the criterion of that's life in that you think it should be better because of a plot description and the stars. Correct. Right. Yeah. And yet Blake it's Edwards, not. Jack hey, Lemmon, that's what, you know, again, that John, you know good. what I'm talking about. That sucked me into this film. It's like, most, hey, Kevin Smith, God, Justin the most Long, I was hoping pretty with, good. This, <laughs> with this one, the most I was hoping for was uh, a sort of a Grizzly 2 experience. So bad, it's good. But but Kevin Smith is way too arch and self-aware to yeah. ever let us be just incompetent and... And, yeah. He doesn't do I mean, incompetent. He can't do unintentionally funny because he's always trying to do intentionally funny. Right. Well, the weird, right. the Grizzly, thing Grizzly about and Grizzly yeah. Two work because the people in it take it a hundred percent seriously. Seriously, yeah. like yeah. they think they're making the, a terrifying movie. Well, and Kevin Smith, <laughs> right. Kevin Smith, the person, is actually a very articulate, smart individual. He's charming. 
But yeah, he, yeah, yeah, like, I'm sure but he's a him. bad film. Like, but Kevin Smith, the filmmaker, it's like he doesn't know how to he needs, get out of his he own needs way. To learn, he needs translate. to learn to get an editor who looks at his shit and goes, "No, yeah. you're right, Cad." <laughs> I mean, a lot of the no. sins we've discussed, no. a lot yeah, of the sins we've done. discussed would be fixed by editing because if he's letting his actors movie. riff and go for 15 minutes, cut all of the best part out. Show us the best part. Show us a minute. Show us the ten seconds. Show whatever. I think the part that he the putting Johnny Depp in there, letting him do his wacky uh, French Canadian thing all over the place, um, yeah. was oh, was, worst, was worst it accent. actually symbolized his lack of control over the, the narrative and his movie. Or he wants he it was all good. Let, he says, "Do whatever you want. We're just going to have Johnny Depp. It's going to be a great draw. Let's well, go do your made thing." This in and fifteen just, days. Yeah. Either way, because was, because he ran a poll on Twitter about whether or not, or about which episode of his podcast his fans wanted to make uh, a movie out of. And I don't no, think this is no, the one- make, make the Walrus movie. Dude. I don't yeah. think this is the yeah, one he wanted to win. Movie. I don't think this is the one he wanted to win. And I think oh, he's you think like, he was fuck, I'm stuck fan? with this I mean, now. Chad, what's the logic for the- had a better job if they just chosen Lewis Carroll's The Walrus and the Carpenter. Sure. Which is, which is the name of the original episode of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Right, but I mean, still, Kevin Smith is no Lewis Carroll. Look, if everyone's <laughs> like, if... wow, that's that's a hot take, man. I don't, yeah. man, I don't know. You guys, on the really, post, you, you guys are really down the whole turning people in the walruses genre. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's turning a sub 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 genre. Yes, turning people into walruses. No. Okay. Oh, we're doing the serious. What was the podcast that he wanted to make? Can you give us the log line? I don't. I don't know. I just know. I, I know he he had three of fun. them. He had three of them, oh. and it definitely seemed like this is this was everybody. Everybody thought, oh, it's going to be really funny if we make him do the stupid walrus one. Um, yeah. oh, it's Bodie. Well, this is like that. In other words, this is the Bodie. It's Bodie McBoat McBoat face. It's it's, it's um, Bodie McBoat face. Yes, motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. Yeah, like uh-huh. it's yeah. it's all that shit. Like, all right. Don't right, listen right. to your audience. Everyone's Story doing your own has, their own show of hands uh, here. Go ahead, go nuts. I'll just be the devil here, and you guys. Well, this is exactly. what's, the, what's the fucking <laughs> fuck you down? No, well, it's exactly, not even worth. Exactly. Not even worth you it. Watch it. No. <laughs> so far down. All right, all right. Fucking, <laughs> all this, no. Is it one of these things? It's <laughs> not even worth it. I don't. <laughs> no. It's, all right. It's not worth it. I'm not giving you. I'm not giving you the satisfaction. All right, you Scott. I apologize for nothing except the fact I didn't see no, it. Don't, 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 you know, Scott, don't apologize. I'm no. not, damn it. There's never there's apologize. No, no, never never forward. Forward. This is the Cadillac never. of walrus yeah. transformation movies. Come on. Never, never.